So in this video, I want to talk about a place, a country, in our world, on our wondrous planet and on our globe, called Convenience Land. Now, some of you, my friends, have heard me speak about this, but most of you viewers who will see this have probably never heard the term before. This is because people are very, very, very inconvenienced by having their motives questioned. Now, Convenience Land is a place, it's a country, it's a, it's a wondrous heaven for hypocrites. It's a wondrous heaven for people who can never ever say any speck of truth, they can never utter anything that is even remotely correct. They can never adhere to anything they say ever. These are people who, you know who I'm talking about, these are the folks who will go polar opposite in a matter of a day. These are people who want to lie about everything. We could name examples, okay, we could name examples, we could say, we could name certain groups or you know, religions or there, but we're not going to do that because then we are part of convenience land and convenience land encompasses them all. Convenience land encompasses all the hypocrisy and all the bullshit that you people as a whole, you netizens, you convenientizens want to express. Because a convenientizen will always stick to the side that makes him look better that makes him be in a convenient situation for himself. A good example of this is are actually parents. Parents who will, f f at a certain point in their life, they will say that they want their child to grow up just uh, however he wants and to develop into a, a unique, human, magnificent human being, but then they will tell this child to follow rigid, social accepted standards that in no way would allow them to grow up to be anyone besides just another freaking copy of a convenience land citizen. These are the same people who put post pictures on their social network websites with when they're like super ripped and they go like yeah I'm so hardcore and I've I've, I've just achieved these abs and those pecs and those shoulder muscles are bulging and extreme and so good. But being fat is also fucking awesome. What are, what are you... What? Like, can't I say that this is awesome and the, opposite, and the complete opposite of that shit that I just named awesome is also great? Of course they can, because this is convenience land. And in convenience land, everything is fucking possible because it's convenient and we must be convenient. And we, like, notice this, that recently, in recent years, anyone who actually adheres to an opinion is an asshole. He's a comp any person with any opinion. Religious folk, non-religious folk, movements of any sort, if they don't radically change their opinion, and, you know, adjust themselves all the goddamn time to the situation that goes on around them, especially companies are blamed for this every single day, people who oftentimes have no relation to events that happen around them, for some reason they need to adjust and they need to be, you know, they need to be uh, informed about all the latest things that are going on because they need to be convenient for everyone. You, you can't possibly have a clothes store selling like big freaking clothes only. You must have the same clothes store sell clothes for skinny people, for fat people, for big people, for tall people, for short people, for babies and grandparents. Everything must be convenient for everything. This is not how the world works. This is not how things should be. In fact, they were never like this. It's the whole politically correct movement that makes it, you know, that makes it so. 
and I've tried not to name a movement, but I can't avoid it. It's fucking convenience land movement. Fine. Okay, is that better? Is that more convenient for you? Not naming it political correctness? See where I'm going with this? This is absolute bullshit. This is absolute crap. And you know it exists. You know the internet is full of people who contradict each other and, and themselves all the goddamn time. And every group of people is accepted to go here to the trends and nobody can stand on any point anymore. Nobody can be nobody can have a moral compass anymore because everyone's morality is decided by everyone else. How the fuck does this work? This is exactly why we can't have nice things, guys. This is exactly the problem. Because too many people live in convenience land. Too many people will backtrack on whatever they say in an instant these days. Please stop. That's all I wanted to say. <laughs>